This session is intended to encourage you to look at how you experience anger and frustrations in your life and how to use a new approach to manage your anger in a better way by making changes in the deeper part of your mind. You can listen to this session as often as you wish to help create a profound shift in your thoughts and feelings. With regular listening, it can help you to manage anger feelings so that you can develop better responses to challenging situations, enjoy happier, more harmonious relationship with others and live a more calm and peaceful life. Find a comfortable position where you can relax undisturbed. Make sure your body is supported as you begin to settle yourself down. Make sure your feet are uncrossed and you might like to rest your arms by your sides or comfortably on your lap. And to help you settle into a comfortable position, I invite you to take a nice, slow, deep breath in through the nose and then let it out through the mouth. Take in another nice, slow, deep breath in and exhale. Release and relax. Allow your eyes to just softly close if they haven't already. Relax. You might like to become aware of the coolness of your breath as it enters your nostrils, noticing your chest as it rises and as you exhale, Notice how your chest falls. That's right. Just breathing in and out. out. Allow your awareness to focus on your breath. As you allow your breathing to flow in its own natural rhythm, let it become more and more relaxed. Relaxed. You do not need to make any conscious effort to breathe. Your marvelous subconscious mind is taking care of your breathing for you. And knowing this, You can relax even more deeply with each and every breath that you take. Nobody wants anything from you. All you need to do is listen to the sound of my voice and rest in this space, allowing yourself to simply rest On your breath, rest. On your breath, rest. Rest and relax. And relax. Deeper and deeper. Knowing that the more you relax, the deeper you go. And the deeper you go, the more you can relax. Relax. Deeper, deeper, and deeper, and deeper. And you might be aware of the sounds around you, or simply relaxing deeper and deeper. Listening to my voice, relaxing you with every breath out. Releasing and relaxing. And some people are able to notice different thoughts passing through their mind. If a thought takes your focus, just notice it. 
There's no need to give it any attention. Thoughts can be thought, but you do not have to think them. You can simply let them come and just as easily let them go. Let them go. Thoughts are always moving, just like the breath. And some people find this experience invigorating. And some people find it neutral. And others may find it the most relaxing thing they have ever encountered. And some people can get confused that they have to relax. There's no right way or wrong way, just experience what you experience, go wherever you go, that's perfectly fine, and as you relax more and more in your own way, I'm going to begin counting down from ten all the way down to one and when we get to one you will deeply relax into the comfortable space that is waiting for you. Let's begin with ten. Ten. Your feet feel heavy and relaxed. Relax. Your toes and ankles feel as if they are wrapped in the comforting warmth of the energy rising up from the earth and into your body. Nine. Nine. The warmth envelops your calves up to your knees. And I don't know, but you may like to give this warm energy a shape. Or perhaps a colour. It might feel like being surrounded in soft, light, golden mist. Relax. Or you may see it as a piece of deep blue velvet. Enveloping you from the feet upwards. Eight, eight, sinking deep now, allowing your body to sink into the warmth or coolness of comfort. Relax, seeing the energy swirling all around your thighs and up through your hips into the larger muscles of your lower torso. Relax. Seven. Seven. The relaxation now rises up through your chest. And up through your back, bringing comfort to all of your muscles. Six. Six. As the feeling of relaxation continues to grow, you feel your shoulders relaxing. And that relaxation flows all the way down your arms, right down to the tips of your fingers. Five, five. Feel the comfort now. Enter your neck and jaw. Relaxing, releasing any tension. Four, four, 
Feel yourself sinking deeper, deeper, and deeper now, and deeper. See yourself descending down, down, towards a comfortable space filled with pillows and warmth or coolness that is waiting to welcome you. Relax. Three. Three. Step down slowly. Three times more relaxed. Going down further. Stepping lightly. And you can see the space where you'll be welcomed into deep, deep relaxation. Two, two, stepping down, all the way down. You can see and feel the effects of deep relaxation. You are enfolded into the comfortable embrace as you step down onto the last step, number one. One. Step down into the space of total relaxation. Relax. Enjoying the feeling of letting go. Going deep inside. Deeply relaxed, deeply relaxed, and nothing matters now, because part of your mind has drifted away, and part of you is enjoying that deep, deep relaxation, relax. And now I invite you to think about whatever it is that makes you angry. Feel yourself back in a situation where perhaps you overreacted in an impulsive way. And think about what it was that was said to you or what you said. Hear what you heard, the tone of voice that was used. See what you saw, that look that annoyed you so much. Perhaps you thought the situation was unjust or unfair or you felt victimised, dismissed or taken advantage of in some way. Maybe you feel resentment or irritation towards a person or situation. Notice the sensations in your body as you feel what you felt. Or maybe you were angry on behalf of someone or something else. I'm not sure what it is, but whatever it is, just allow your unconscious mind to bring forward such a memory for you to work with. And in your mind, see the scenario of that memory. And as you see that scene, 
I invite you to be there again in that situation. Looking through your own eyes. And really feel those angry feelings again inside you. And as you notice the sensations in your body, you can allow those feelings to grow stronger than they were. And you can double the anger, double those bad feelings. And as you double those feelings, perhaps you can hone into and locate those feelings and sensations in your body. Where are they? Where do you experience them most? All you are doing is connecting to where the feeling of anger is experienced in your body. Are they in your throat? Your face? your arms or perhaps in your stomach or chest or are they some other place just notice exactly where you're feeling the sensations How do you experience your anger? What sensations enters your body? Is it hot and burning? Or is it icy cold? Or maybe it is somewhere in between. A churning feeling in your stomach a tightness in your chest? Does your heart rate increase? Is your anger hard or is it soft? Is it fast and furious or prickly or squashy? Is it a sweating in your palms? Is it a pounding in your chest or your head? Just notice and as you see what you see and feel what you feel, can you give your anger a colour? Some people think of red or black for anger. Whatever colour comes to mind, simply notice what colour that is. And perhaps you can consider the shape and size. If you could give your anger a shape, what would it be? Will it be round or square? A shape with spikes on? Or perhaps something completely different? How much space does it take up in your body? Is it as big as a football? or as small as a golf ball? What sound does the anger make? Is it loud or hissing? Soft or shaky? Whining or harsh? Is it explosive? Or is it oozing slowly? Does it sound like someone you know? Or 
all you need to do is just think about how anger shows up for a moment. And as you notice that anger, where do you experience it in your body and how you experience it? All you need to do is just think about how anger shows up for a moment and as you notice that anger, where do you experience it in your body and how you experience it? Feeling the sensations of that anger and connecting to where it is moving. And perhaps you can feel that anger and direct it down your arm. Whichever arm comes to mind. Just notice the sensations, the shape of it, the temperature, the texture, the colour. Feel it there in that arm. And you can direct it all the way down into your arm and into your hand. And notice the sensation. And perhaps now you can just get rid of it. Because you have had enough of anger taking control. That's right. Feel your fingers wrapped around that anger now and when you're ready I invite you to let go of that anger that's right you don't want to hold on to it anymore and when you're ready open your fingers wide and throw that anger away It has no place with you right now. It has no right to be there at this moment. You do not want it. You will not have it. You're not interested in negative feelings, so you throw that anger away. See it. Leave your body. Disappearing into the nothingness from where it came. And as you throw it away, an amazing thing begins to happen. Some people find they have all this space, this relief and this awareness that as soon as you name it, you tame it. That's right, you catch and see the anger as separate from you. You notice the anger now at the same time you are seeing it separate from you. Because you realize you are not the anger, you are experiencing the anger. That's right. You might start to notice the first signs of comfort and ease as the anger dissolves, creating space and for that sense of relief to broaden and deepen from the top of your head all the way down to the tips of your toes. That's right, breathing deeply. And as you breathe deeply and calmly, you might start to notice initial concerns have given way to a recognition of the learning process and that if you just follow and practice these steps, every time you experience anger, you might find that something has changed in your mind, something that you once found so hard 
to control and get rid of now becomes easy, so easy for you. Your unconscious mind knows more about that anger than your conscious mind does. And if your unconscious mind knows more about your anger than your conscious mind does, then you probably know more about it than you think you do. You are unconsciously aware of the new resources you need when you experience anger and can make your unconscious conscious. And every time you listen to this session, you bring in this awareness and all the anger simply starts to go away. Dissipating, dissipating, dissolving, dissolving, disintegrating, disintegrating, dispersing, dispersing. This amazing thing begins to happen. Perhaps you can actually begin to see more clearly that holding on to uncontrollable anger is costing you. What is it costing you? How are you allowing anger to spend your energy? How does uncontrolled anger affect your relationships? How does it affect your health? And as you recognize anger as an experience and not who you are, you can change the pattern of anger to be calm, calm and in control, control because you've got rid of that horrible feeling without destroying any relationships and without harming yourself or anyone else. That's right, you have all the skills to release, release, and let go, and let go, of anger, do you not? It can be so easy, because just a moment ago, all that anger inside yourself, It is gone from your body and your mind, leaving a calm, calm feeling and a wonderful feeling of pride in yourself and self-respect. Notice what you are experiencing now. Could it be such a good feeling, a comfortable feeling and you may feel happy and relieved that you didn't react. So happy and proud of yourself for controlling your anger in this way and letting it go into the nothingness of where it came leaving behind these wonderful feelings of calm, calm, control, control, and peace of mind, peace of mind. And with peace of mind comes clarity of thought and vision. Now you can calmly ask yourself, what was the purpose of this anger? What was it telling me? What matters to me that anger was showing up? Perhaps you can see what it was that you were not getting. 
perhaps anger shows up to tell you to protect something important to you. Your boundaries, your values. Is anger telling you to calmly speak up? Stand up for what you need to be heard, understood, validated. Is anger showing you an old wound and where you need healing? Or you may notice that you feel scared about a certain outcome and you can look underneath the anger and find a solution. Is anger telling you you're exhausted? Is it time to rest? and focus on getting better quality sleep or support or help. What other feelings might be under the anger? Is it disappointment, hurt, shame, embarrassment? And perhaps you can ask yourself, what do I need instead? What needs attention? And as you allow the anger to slow down, slow down, calm down, calm down, easing down, easing down. To communicate to you, you give some thought to what it was that made you so angry in the first place. You can trace it all the way back and you can begin to find solutions, compromises or other ways forward. You can see how else you could potentially view this situation without feeling uncontrolled anger. Anger is an internal alarm that communicates something is not right. Notice the thoughts behind your anger and choose to remain the compassionate witness to what is there. You are richly rewarded for embracing anger, to acknowledge and listen to what anger is expressing to you. When you are one with your heart, you know not only your needs for safety and love, but your deep longings for meaning and purpose. You consciously make choices true to your heart and fulfill what is important to you. And from this moment on, any time you are in a similar situation in the future, you know how to catch the anger, name it to tame it and place it all the way down into your arm and into your hand to throw it back into the nothingness that it came from. Anger is so powerful and when it calms down, calms down, settles down, settles down, you can acknowledge now that holding on to angry feelings hurts you more than anyone else. That's right. Uncontrolled anger does more harm by making you feel stressed and uncomfortable inside. And you don't need to feel that way, do you not? 
and with this new healthy self-respect, you are realizing that you are worth far more than anger controlling you. That's right. Your energy and emotional state of mind is far more important and you can use your powerful new skills to understand your anger because you don't want to feel uncontrolled anger. You won't feel uncontrolled anger because you understand anger is a way to communicate to you what you need and from now on you have new ways of dealing with your anger to understand anger and address it in healthy ways And if in the future you have come across a situation where you need to diffuse your anger and slow it down, slow it down, calm it down, calm it down, you will concentrate on your right or left arm and quickly feel the anger moving down that arm and into the fist where you will be able to throw it away let it go completely so you are calm calm and in control and in control and can communicate in a healthy way with the situation the circumstance and the people. That's right. All you need to do is release the anger. Let go of the anger. Let go and release it. See it separate from you. Witnessing the anger and simply let it go and throw it back into the nothingness creating a space of relief to feel more calm, more calm and more at ease, more at ease. Controlling the experience of anger as a more relaxed, relaxed. person. That's right. You can easily feel calmer in every way, more peaceful, peaceful, more easygoing, easygoing, more relaxed, relaxed. And you give your brain time to move out of the protective mode and into problem solving mode. Because that is what anger is showing up for, to find a solution in a respectful, healthy way. And every day you feel better, more relaxed and more calmer in every way. Your breathing slows down, your heart rate slows down. And your energy slows all the way down, feeling in control, more at ease as you let it pass through you, releasing and relaxing. And because you can do this now, your life is becoming much richer, more meaningful much happier in every way. And you begin to feel different inside. Other people notice a difference in you. But much more importantly, you feel differently. And every day you feel better and healthier and happier and calmer 
and so much more relaxed and confident. You are proud of yourself for having learned to control your anger. And other people are proud of you too because you calm the explosive force of anger running around. It slows down, slows down, calming down, calming down, and easing down. Allowing you to breathe deeply, calmly, that's right. And in a moment, I'm going to give you a minute silence to understand the purpose of anger and what's really important to you. And because you can calmly see what is important to you. You can communicate to others what matters to you and what it is you really need. The message anger carries has done its job. You understand how to see and listen to the anger. And from now on, you have much better ways of dealing with your anger controlling and releasing your anger and it feels wonderfully good to save your energy feeling happy and relieved that you didn't react and instead can respond feeling proud of yourself for controlling your anger in this way you are free to choose from a place of power and when fully in your power you allow yourself to be fully present to experience life from the only moment you ever have this present moment feeling calm and in control In a moment, I'm going to count from one to five, and at the count of five, you'll be wide awake, feeling calmness and relaxation flowing through your body, peaceful thoughts flowing through your mind. One, I invite you to take a deep breath in. And begin to move your attention back to the space around you. Two, becoming consciously more alert throughout your body. Three, bringing back with you all that you have learned. Four, noticing all the new energies flowing from every direction. Each muscle and nerve in your body is loose and limp and relaxed. And number five, eyes open, feeling calm, at ease, in control and relaxed. 